Lindsay, can you hear us? Hi, yeah, I can. I'm just going to be right. muted for a few minutes, so. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> we can wait. I'll see if anyone else is joining us. If not, we'll just wait and then we'll jump in. The idea of today is to spend some time with you, Lindsay, one-on-one. -on -one. We might have someone else joining us as well here in a second, but um, you had mentioned when we chatted that you were interested in working with Morning Brew specifically, and then you also mentioned the Skim and a couple others, uh, like Spotify, Netflix, et cetera. Um, we wanted to start writing a couple of those interviews, uh, so a couple of those messages with you to hopefully land you interviews with those companies. And maybe we just focus on like Morning Brew or on one of those uh -huh. and kind of kick it off. What yeah. do you think? Love it. Sweet. So Steven usually will kind of take the charge in terms of like pulling up the screen share. We can probably focus on Morning Brew if you want. You know Morning Brew pretty well, Steven? Or? Um, I think I was a subscriber for a hot second. It's one of those like, news aggregator via email type of deals, right? Yeah, it's just, it started as an email newsletter. They have a bunch of leaders. They've grown a lot. Um, they, ha they have like a really interesting way of kind of doing what they do. It's like very like funny and quirky and it's meant to make like business news like just a little bit more like bite-sized and fun. So when you see their emails, you'll kind of see. But they're hiring a bunch. They just started a new like marketing brew like newsletter they have like a tech brew they have like a this and that like kind of different like verticals that they go down um was there something in particular that you were interested in Lindsay, that um caught your eye whether it's like a job role or like a specific thing that they're working on um so they have sponsors that pay to be integrated into the newsletters um okay. similar to the skim morning Got brew it. is more I would, I would say the skim is very heavily focused on females, where Morning Brew is kind of both. Um, but I would want to do something like that, like the brand partnerships that feel really authentic, but okay. um, it is paid partnerships, yeah. Paid partnerships, there are, okay. There are job roles open for that? I don't know if, it, I don't know if there's one open anymore. There was one open... There's brand partnerships finance. If you click on that one, this one, yep. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. And so now, curious, what? Give me like a thirty second rundown of your your background, and then sort of like what makes uh, Morning Brew and, and sort of the brand partnerships role specifically interesting to you. Uh, so my background is in brand partnerships. Okay. So I was doing brand partnerships for rulalongilt.com most recently and before that I was doing it for Zulily which is a QVC brand um yeah. and yes we sent emails out but the campaigns were typically a lot larger than just an email but Morning Brew and The Skim are both like doing a lot in the space that makes sense to me. And do you, like I'm just seeing what they have bolded here, like do you have a background with leading a team or are aspiring to lead a team? Or is that not specifically something that really matters to you one way or the other? My previous role, I was senior manager. So the natural next step, I think, would be director. <clears throat> so what does it say? Nine year, nine plus years media experience. I also have my MBA, so sometimes that helps. Any of these that they're bolding, do you think that, are any of them sort of jumping to you as things that you do like particularly well that you would highlight? Okay, let me see. Um, I mean, I have integrated media, ex sales experience, exceeding sales, um, strong foundation. I have brand and agency relationships. I, I feel like this would be the thing that they, like these are all sort of the table stakes, right? Yeah, those are all like every brand partnerships role. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like, what do you think, you know, if, if you had to, if your only interview process was one question about like how you would answer this, like do you, do you feel really strongly about Morning Brew? Like you have like, so like a really amazing <laughs> article that you read that was just so transformative and like, I don't know, what, what are some things about the, the company and the mission that just get you really excited? 
I know them well. I like what they're doing. And I think it's cool that they're expanding. They're branching off to have retail brew and tech brew okay. and that they have a podcast now. And there's just like a lot of opportunities to integrate sponsorship and partners. Cool. The way I've been helping people and where I've had some success so far with candidates in, in your position has been sort of going through this process that I actually teach my team of account executives to use in their B2B prospecting and outreach. All we're mm -hmm. doing is instead of like, we're taking the same sort of formula, which is broadly centered around getting to find something about the person that you're going to be reaching out to and less about the company or anything, but like really see if you can harvest something on LinkedIn about them. Mm -hmm. Try to pique their curiosity in you by talking about them. And that's sort of like the gist of the first cold uh, outreach, the, the copy creation. Now, the way we've been doing that as it applies to uh, a candidate reaching out to an employer has been trying to parse through the language. See if you can get anything that's like super unique. Like there was another example, I can't remember what the company was, but they had like really quirky language in their job posting. So we sort of used that to our advantage, found somebody, not like the head of people, but like another director in that same job function. And then we reached out to them referring to what that person had posted on LinkedIn and then like stole exact verbiage from the job description. And the reason why that's so powerful is like, A, nobody really reaches out to people within an organization if they apply. They usually just send an application and hope they hear back and then kind of go from there. Mm -hmm. Two, especially in sales roles or in marketing as well, so much of what you're doing in the, the function is going to be communicating strongly to various people, right? Whether that's a cold email in selling, whether that's creating good copy and collateral as a marketer. So you're basically showcasing those skill sets before you're even going through the interview process. And mm -hmm. the, the third part is if, if none of that works, if you don't get the job, if you don't even get the interview, in all likelihood, you can usually add, you know, one or two people to your network um, and really stand out in a way that 99% of other people aren't doing. If it makes sense to do that for Morning Brew and maybe like not specifically with this role, because sort of the last thing we want to do together is like we want to end this session with a person at a target company that you want to like apply for a role and ideally the rough outline, if not the actual email that we want to send so that you can like literally just hit the ground running in that process. Okay. I have an idea. Excellent. Okay. Um, can we go to another company? You bet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's called create and cultivate. Create and cultivate. Yep. There it is. Okay. Is this the same one? Both of these? Yep. It's, it's the top one. Okay, cool, thanks. Okay, go to jobs. Yep. It's on their website, I know that for sure. Excellent, so I'll jump over there. We can do this two-pronged. And uh, if you go all the way down, <clears throat> they list other jobs, so that might. Uh, let's get out of here. Okay, it should say careers, yeah. Okay, go down. So the BDM uh, and the director of business development, both of those, obviously okay. probably director, but either. Understanding of the female millennial market is a must. Yeah. Uh, okay, great. I feel like we could probably speak to that without having to ask you your age. So <laughs> let's see here. I think what, uh, th this is pretty good. I think what I would immediately do, so let's just jump over and they don't have a ton of employees so that should make this pretty easy. She's the CEO. Yeah, we got Jacqueline as the CEO, which I think, candidly, might actually be a good person since you would be reporting to her. Mm -hmm. 
but also kind of like, I mean, really going for it, which I kind of like. So I'm just gonna click on her here anyway. Let's get her work email. Cool. Where's my... Also, do you, do you, um, you don't happen to like follow her or anything already, do you? Or do you know anything about Jacqueline Johnson? I do know. So, yeah. So she, they, they do a lot of live events and conferences and okay. stuff. Um, and she's always front and center. Yeah. Okay, cool. She's definitely like a CEO who's like the brand or like face of the, the yes. brand type. Okay. Mm -hmm. so then we can probably find something in her activity. She's probably somewhat Active. What is the WME family? Oh, it's just like a brand. It's probably like as a speaker or something like that. Or like they represent her as an agency. Uh, okay. I opened that up on the new tab just in case. What is this? Don't burn out. Eight cents are overdoing it. It's a lot of her reposting so far the brand stuff. We want to try to find the, the, the best quality stuff is to find a post specifically authored by the person you're reaching out to she has uh she's pretty active on instagram okay do you have i mean i can probably try do you can you think of like a post on instagram that because here's what i want to do the strongest way to reach out to her is to basically show jacqueline not only like, like what you're really doing is, is showing it through the like, explicit writing and reaching out to her is mm -hmm. that you, you you're not just like you're going much further than any sort of surface level thing that you would understand that someone else might do and like pulling up a, an instagram post if you can write about that if you could use that uh that content to basically honestly tell her like I actually, you know, this really moved me. I agree with it. It got me thinking about this, that, or the other. That that kind of like lead is so good at getting someone's attention. And then literally the only thing you need to do after that is sort of generally reference the fact that you're interested in this role and give her one sort of thought provoking question either related to the content or somehow tie the question in mind to the role and show that you're thinking about the specifics in the job description or mm -hmm. highlighting an idea or a way that you would solve a problem that you think that person would have to solve in that role. Okay, that makes sense. Do you ever share the, like, would I be able to actually use that temp, like this stuff? Yeah, yeah, At, absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah usually what i like they so this is this is the this is like the outreach tool that my company uh sells to mostly the recruiters it's really similar to like an outreach or sales lock or something so okay. it's easy for me to just sort of rip through this stuff where we could like go in and then normally so if it were let's say if it were linkedin content if nothing else like if we couldn't figure out exactly what to write here i would go in and then just like you know for you, I'd copy the link, right? So that you knew, all right, well, that's a tag in there. So I knew I'm gonna have to go reference that. So this is for the your business development, right? And then just, if I save that, cool. then, then it'll go ahead when, you, when you're like looking at this, you're not necessarily staring at a blank page. Now, obviously you're not gonna send that, but you're like, okay, great. So we were gonna, <laughs> we were gonna grab a quote from this post and I'm going to talk to her about the director of business development role posted on their company's webpage. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Um, so I can definitely get this to you. Right. And then yeah, I'm, if, that would be if, fantastic. if this is at all helpful, I also, this is public for anybody who wants it, just sort of understanding like the framework. Um, yeah. How do I get to that? Uh, well, let's see. Are you in this, the, uh, the hire me Slack? Yes. Workspace. Okay, cool. Let's see. Thank you. 
Um, and then what we can do is I can send, this is like a test email to myself and then uh, paste it or forward it to you just so you have it. Now we can, we can, do, we can do one of two things, Lindsay, whatever works better. If, since you said she's really active on Instagram, which I kind of like too, because mm -hmm. like, again, it just goes to the core tenet of just go, go where they are and use the language and like style that they use. Um, mm -hmm. So if, if there's a post, I mean, we can probably try to pull up. It's probably, Jacqueline, yeah. I think it's Jacqueline R. Jo Jacqueline R. Johnson. What we can do is we can like pick the post. Cool. Yeah. We can put together the copy in, in Interseller, and then what I'll do is I'll send the email to myself and then get it to you, Lindsay, and then you can decide whether you want to DM her, whether you want uh, on Instagram, whether it's on LinkedIn, whether yeah. it's email, and I would probably say do all three in one way, shape, or form, but like okay. wh whichever one that you think would be the best place to start um, okay. is kind of fun, up to you. Okay, what about this? Yeah. I, I'm i attending a virtual conference they have coming up and I was also at their last one. Okay, that's great. What was, um, what I didn't was... attend, I got a free ticket to the most recent one. How? Uh, but, so I didn't get, free ticket? I, yeah. I was on, someone who was presenting I was on her email list and she was giving away like mm. 50 tickets or something. Okay. Is she relevant or like, is she? do you think she, yeah. is she like a name droppable name? No. Okay. She's um, like, it, okay, nothing against crystal healing, but <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know. I'm not there yet with the crystals. <laughs> Let's talk about the, the now the, um, the, the conference you attended. Anything mm -hmm. memorable from her? Was she a speaker? Did she Jacqueline? have a topic? Yeah. Yes. So she did the um, evening keynote with, oh. I forget, but yeah, she did, a, she did the evening keynote. She did like a s'mores cocktail recipe. She did the introduction. You can do digital summer camp. Great. <laughs> digital summer camp. Great. Uh, lineup? Yeah. Let's see where she is. There's your boy. Is that for, oh, yeah. Everything about Fred? Okay. Yep. Uh, are you? Okay. Let's see. Moderator. Oh, great. Just takes her oh. to her Instagram. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then what did this do if I go to campsite bio? Oh, what is this? I would have no idea. Okay. All right. Hold on. We're on to something. She links to that in her bio. So all the uh, things, all the things. Okay. So all of her things. Her, have you listened to any of her podcasts? I've listened to work party. I did a while ago. I did. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that could be it might That's be something idea. You do here but i can tell you for one just to give you like a uh, an example uh, somebody who i've been recently trying to network with Poya, right so he's um sales leader had a lot of really interesting companies in his background now he's working in like venture he's got a podcast that i found out about through somebody that i follow that i think is a great thought leader and I found out about him through Brendan reposting the fact that he was on Poya's uh, podcast. So mm -hmm. I, I connected with him beforehand and then was like, I loved your post. So I wanted to get into, get you into my feed. Yeah, yeah. So we have a basic relationship. And then when I needed to ask him for something, when I wanted to finally connect my my personalization so the rest of what i reached out is all templated but what i'm what what we're kind of talking about in, in your same use case here is i actually did listen to that podcast and then all i did was sort of like reference and this is sort of the the social proof right anybody could say you know you could do a cursory search and see that there was a podcast but you would have had to listen to it because this came up in like minute 19 out of 30 about his background in recruiting and how it shaped his career. 
uh, who should I listen to next now that I've told you I've listened to it. But anyway, this went out at 1237 and I got a response less than 24 hours later from somebody who I've basically never talked to that's quite busy. Wow. So I think if there is a podcast that you could lever that way, it kind of checks a lot of the boxes, right? Like it's something that they obviously care about since they put their face on it, the time to create it, produce it, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Two, it's really next level research because you can't really skim a podcast. I mean, you, you can, but it's a separate discussion. But like, <laughs> it, it's, it's showing that you care so much that you actually like listen to a podcast, had something thoughtful to say about it, then took the time to say it to her. So the, the, the thing is, like, Work Party Podcast, it's about, like, career advice. Like, hey, I'm using your advice. <laughs> so I, I've, I did the exact same thing. This is, this is really great. This is, like, not typically how they did this, but this is, this is inspiring a bunch of stuff. So when I, when I put together this, like, learning piece, uh -huh. all I did, what, where this came from, is I watched a, 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 a webinar from one of my favorite, like, sales development leaders, Beck Holland. And I, I thought the stuff she was teaching was so fire. I literally the next day had a meeting with my team and said, yo, we're doing this new method. Like now, here's how we do it. I went and I even, I put together like a one pager basically on how to do it, go do it. And then one of my reps executed it so well, we ended up booking like, I don't know, like it ended up being a 20% uh, cold outreach and we got 20% to actually set up demos. So I just gave her a shout out like a week later, like publicly, hey, uh, a lot of people put out content. Bex is so good. You can literally 5X your performance in a week. And then she reposted it and I got a whole bunch of love and traction from there. I, I love it because it, you don't need to overthink kind of the content so much as like, if it's important to them, then it's important to you if, if it's authentic. If you hate the podcast, then like, you know, it's eventually going <laughs> to, you know what I mean? It won't pass the sniff test. Right. But um, yeah, I mean, the, the key is. That's the bottom line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, and if nothing else, like I could, I cannot imagine that many of the people, even if they love her and would love to work for the company, are doing this. You know what I mean? like reaching out, referencing the stuff that's already there. Not that it's hard to do. It's just, you know, not something that people typically do. Oh man, there's so many good things in here. I'm sure you can find, actually, just to challenge us, I'm going to grab this one and without even reading it, let's see if there's something in here. Hytham, what do you think about cheating here for a second? And just for the sake of like creating a deliverable, if we could, I'm going to, I'm going to flip the script here a bit. I'm going to snag this and go back and change the content. Grab that. Back over here. All right. So this is just like me pressuring myself to do something without even listening to the podcast. Like what I would do is you can just, this is a pretty great quote, I think. If we want to see higher uh, stock returns, higher overall profit, and a higher return equity, we have to hire women and put them in leadership roles. Okay, could have maybe came from anything, but this, it's literally verbatim what they said. Uh, so I'm just kind of placeholding that in here. Yeah. Uh, I, would, I would personally maybe like edit it down a bit or like edit, uh, yeah, in your. And like, I'll listen to it. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. The only thing I would watch out for, uh, Lindsay, is um, don't change the order and don't add in other things. Like I want to create a little bit more personalization. I want to mention that I want this job. I think I should tie back right before I put the quote, I think I should say something else right there because this is a little awkward or I think I should put something else in my signature or PS or there's not a very strong call to action in here, guys. Like I'm going to go ahead and just change this because I don't think it's a big deal. It's probably, no offense, a huge deal because this works because it's very formulaic and there's a rhyme and reason for every single word and where it is. So if you're going right. to change something, like let's do it now. Otherwise, the way that the email is written is meant to be ready to get sent and any sort of small adjustment could mess it up. I see. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm. 
maybe that's a little dramatic, but something dramatic. Some, something to but, that. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Tyler. I would say something like maybe like we can go with Chris Voss a little bit on here. You can say something like like as I'm interested in the darker business development uh, role posted Thanks. on the Create and Cultivate Career page, I guess comma. I was curious if there are if there were any like I don't know what exactly I want to say, but you can say something like you want to make it seem like really extreme, like like her coming up with an example of when a company failed to value women in leadership and and that that like leading to their downfall or whatever we had to, or let's say that impacted their bottom line. Like you almost want to frame it like, is it crazy to think that you have an example in mind? Like I'm curious if you know, you're as crazy as me and have examples in mind, <laughs> you know, like something like that. And then she'll be like, oh my God, I love this. Like, hell yeah. You know, like, this is what I think of maybe. I, mean, I don't know if she will respond that way, but that's the response that you want. Like, yeah. oh my God, I love this. Like, he- like, yeah, you know, like you mm-hmm. want, you guys, like, you're like buddies, like you're, like you're connecting with her on a different level right off the bat. Right. Like, I'm interested in your role, but like, if you're not going to answer me, like who else can I go look at? Yeah, like- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does this inherently sort of make sense why I'm stressing <laughs> myself to sort of tie back to what I'm quoting here uh, and, and leaving this question somewhat open-ended, but also like we want it to be thought provoking and open-ended, but not so difficult that she just like can't answer it. Like obviously mm-hmm. if she's saying that they think women need to be put into leadership roles and they are looking for a leadership role, then it would make sense that they have some sort of process to ensure women are, you know, fairly evaluated for this role. I think that a majority of their employees are probably female. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But I would like, I would say like, so maybe actually, I would say something more like, like, that's why it's like kind of like what I'm, what I'm, I'm curious about like what those results have been, like whether she sees them or other people have seen them, like, are you tracking that somehow? Like, because like we... if she's sharing the processes um, to ensure they're given a chance, like, like it's kind of right in front of us. She started her own company and she's, it's all about when like female empowerment. Yes. What about the follow through? What about like, I'm curious, like what the follow through has been like? You know, like you started with a goal of like empowering women and it seems like you're doing it, right? What's the next step? So what they do is like with these events that are digital, whether it's a podcast, whether it's an Instagram post, they have really big clients like MasterCard or Coca-Cola or brands that pay to be integrated into that. I don't know if they really have anything to do. Oh, well, they did just do a live stream or a webinar with a brand that's all about saving the ocean. I like where you're going with that. And, and I think that that's kind of stimulating for me. Maybe the, the better question is, I'm, I'm trying to tie back to the fact that since this role is going to report into her and she's already such an influential female leader, like, can she give you some insight into how she grows the female leaders within her company it could be like you know what like what do you want to see your like what would you want to see this person do later in their career is so it's kind of like you know what do you uh or like the evolution yeah exactly what i'm just going to move these uh, uh I'm just trying to give us several different things here. And then let's think of like, so this is the, this is the like, what do you, like, what's your dream of helping this person evolve into achieve? This is more, this is still a, a, a you question. Can you tell me, this is a little bit more directly, it's a little less flowery, flowery, but very pointedly, <laughs> you know, uh, approaching the, the subject, which is the director of his development role. So it's like a leading question where you 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 want to ask a question where you're hoping that the answer is something about you. <laughs> they don't know that, but you're like baiting them into telling you, yeah, actually, I would, you know, uh, uh, 
the the types of you know directors or the types of salespeople I work with, partnership people, uh, female professionals are like this or have done this or have overcome these type of challenges. Yeah. And then boom. So as I'm interested oh, yeah. in the director of business development position, um, I'm curious. I like that because it just shows like curiosity. Like uh, position, right. I'm curious comma. here. I'm, yeah, I'm curious, maybe with something like what, like, as I'm interested, like, I'm curious, like, what are some of your favorite, like, management slash leadership styles um, that, like, maybe either, like, you have worked best with or that, are, that, re- that uh, help to drive these values that you work best with kind of thing? So basically what you're asking her is, like, what does it take to do what I said in the first paragraph, mm-hmm. right? And then she has an opinion on that. She's just going to describe herself or she's going to describe like, yeah, her person, her mentor. Like that's an easy answer. If anything, you know, or she won't answer, but the second email you send her will be connected to this one and that'll tell a better story. So now we can like shoot this over to you and um, you have to send it. Otherwise it's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will do two things. I'll do it like this. I'll put it in um, here. And then um, you can do what that on is, LinkedIn. you can do that on email. You can do it on both. Yeah. You can send them little like voice messages. You can send a quick video through like, you, can, you know, just do a quick recording and send it in here. That's, you know, you can obviously do it in email, but um yeah. Okay, yeah, that will be it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's... That will be yeah. another take. Uh, so I think then the main takeaway is the... Um, and I can, I'll can. i just remind you in, in Slack. I mean, this is, this is, I would say, 90% ready to go to make it maybe 100 or to like just elevate it a teeny bit. I would you know, listen to the podcast. And then yeah. if you want to change that opener the opening quote to a quote you pull from there. That's literally the only other thing I would do. Okay. Um, I, I like the quote, but if you find something more compelling, that's fine. But it, just, I, yeah. it does have to like tie in. So like the, the reason why I like the quote is just because- uh, right, 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 right. Otherwise- yeah, I like it too. Have to like figure out a way to, you know, transition. But what you could do is like, as you go and you want to build a relationship with her, you know, you can do videos, like I said, you can do cocktail recipes, you know, you can do any sort of recipes. Those work great we do those in our second and third emails we get like higher reply rates just from that you can do a lot of different like cool things to just like stand out because at the end of the day like everybody's reaching out saying i'm great i have a great resume i worked here i worked there like you know i want the job like everyone's kind of saying that but literally no one you know maybe one percent of people are doing what we're talking about doing Mm -hmm. but no one is going to do it the same exact way as you because it's going to be a different yeah. video. It's going to be a different mm-hmm. question. It's going to be a different quote. There's no way somebody's going to match, but right. I bet if you wrote, I have 15 years of experience and I'm this and I'm that you <laughs> could match that with somebody else. Thanks, yeah. and, and for being a good sport and, you know, making yourself available, you get a full hour when normally we try to cram this into 20 minutes per person. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Keep us posted on um, you know, what happens after you uh, launch that. Um, I'm in Slack often. Uh, that's an easy way to get a hold of me and then hyphen as well. But yeah, I can't wait to see uh, how this starts to work and then feel free to lean on us for any additional, you know, follow-up stuff. Perfect. Super excited about it. Thanks, Lindsay. Thanks, <laughs> Lindsay. Bye. Bye. Bye.